Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Marlene Novo, and I'm in charge of the onboarding development uh, of new solutions at Incomex Cloud. We are very excited today to launch SignNow, the revolutionary electronic signature solution from Earthlate. So please help me to welcome Scott Owen, VP Global Business Development and Channel from Earthlate. We also have Jordan uh, from Marketing and Margie. And we also have Christian from Pre-Sales Support Team. So we will present you the new solution for electronic signature. I hope you all can learn a little bit more about this new solution and you can contact us anytime for more questions and for more information. Very good. You ready for me to go? Yes. Scott. Awesome. Thank you, Marlene, for the introduction. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Sorry for a little bit of the challenge to get uh, going, but we're ready to go. We're excited about the partnership with Incomex. We're excited to share um, about Sign Now, our electronic signature offering. We're going to talk about real quickly uh, who Sign Now is, the market opportunity, what's in it for your customers, what's in it for you as the reseller, and how to partner best with Sign Now, what's in it for you. And then we'll do a brief demo uh, by Christian at the end of the uh, presentation. Happy to take questions uh, as well. Important to note, just in May of 2020, so just two months ago or so, Trust Advisors came out stating that the top three work from home solutions on the planet uh, is telehealth solutions, e-signature solutions, and the third is video conferencing. Today, we're gonna talk about our e-signature offering, which is absolutely a must have for all customers, all sizes across all industries. Our market opportunity with electronic signatures is huge. $25 billion plus total addressable market of which only about 10% of the market has been penetrated. That leaves a 90% upside opportunity greenfield opportunity for you as the reseller with your customers. Uh, uh, so who is Airslate? We're actually composed of three major offerings, PDF filler down at the bottom, sign now, which we'll be talking about today, and Airslate, our no-code workflow automation. PDF filler is our uh, software editing, uh, PDF editing capability. Sign now is our electronic signature offering, which is applicable for all size of customers, all industries. And then we just launched late last year, our Air Slate, which is our no code workflow automation offering. We have more than 6 million users around the globe uh, using Sign Now. Again, all size of cu uh, customers across all industries, across all lines of businesses. Some key benefits of utilizing Sign Now. You can quickly fill out and sign documents. Uh, you can approve documents on any device uh, in, in seconds. We simplify the complex workflow. If you think about uh, e-signature, it ultimately is a workflow offering with signature at the end of that workflow. We increase team productivity with the use of the application as well. Your customers can actually maintain their own company brand. We have a white label capability within the platform utilizing Sign Now, and ultimately our objective is to have work uninterruptible. We are out of the box integrated with your customers applications that they use every day. CRM, Salesforce and Dynamics, Productivity, Office 365, Teams, G Suite, uh, ERP, uh, CLM, NetSuite, Aptus, et cetera, all cloud storages. The key for that is we want to live inside your customer's everyday application and not have to swivel chair utilizing sign now. We can live inside that thread. I won't go super long on this slide, but important to see the typical challenges that our customers face on the left side and how sign now provides uh, the solution to those challenges. So obviously left side, reduce 
uh, paper uh, and labor resources. And e-signature or sign now is all about the elimination of paper uh, and saving money by signing, sending, and storing these documents online. Um, we create a lot of efficiency. Customers that aren't using e-signature are very manual in their processes, very paper intensive, a lot of mistakes, a lot of costs. We speed up that entire document uh, turnaround process. Um, obviously, in today's COVID environment where you not, are not able to sign in person, remote or digital signing is a must and necessary offering. You can see some of the rest of the challenges uh, on the left side and then how we actually solve those uh, every day. So what's in it for your customer? Um, these are the typical, uh, um, sounds like there's some net background noise back there, um, typical um, productivity uh, um, experiences that our customer uh, faces. 80% of the documents are completed in a day. Uh, significant increase in customer experience. We've seen 127% average increase in customer satisfaction scores, tremendous savings of time. We see a 25 times faster turnaround on documents uh, and workflows. And I think significant is the ROI or return on investment. Our customers see a 7X or seven times return on their investment within the first year of usage. So very significant customer benefits. What's in it for you as the reseller? Uh, obviously landing and expanding. We're about closing lines of businesses. So you might sell electronic signature sign now into sales and then from there into their legal department, from there into uh, other lines of businesses within that customer base. We're obviously attached to and integrated out of the box with many of the solutions um, that your customers are, are, uh, are using. We accelerate sales. We can bring our SEO CN engine to the table and drive leads and opportunities. Ultimately, we increase revenue, your margins, overall deal size, and the adoption and usage of e-signature is significant. So our renewal base percentage stays very, very high. So what, you know, who do you typically target? Who would be your targets? Left side of this screen, typical users or business owners, human resource teams, sales teams, operation teams, uh, et cetera. You basically, every person that needs to sign anything is a user of Sign Now. We are, as you see in the middle of the slide, across all industries. We're one of those great solutions that is applicable for all industries uh, across the globe. And obviously the additional integrations out of the box uh, are significant. So I'll stop here for a minute or so. Top use cases, the top line are example, five lines of businesses with several of our top use cases. So you think of human resources and your customers today uh, the onboarding and offboarding of, of their employees is very, very significant, especially in this COVID environment. There's been a lot of layoffs. There's now time for businesses to now rehire. That whole uh, employee onboarding opportunity can be all done digitally with SignNow. Obviously in sales, you've got sales contracts that need to be signed, business proposals that need to be signed, you know, finance has all of its signature needs, as you see, and all the way across that top line of lines of businesses with specific use cases of using Sign Now. And then some examples down below are five uh, uh, vertical markets or industries, again, applicable use cases for each of those uh, as well. So very, very applicable. If you think about your own business, uh, anything that needs to be signed or approved uh, can be done with Sign Now. So ultimately, we help digitize uh, all customers across all lines of businesses, across all industries. And we're a great land and expand uh, uh, solution. So you start with one part of a company and you can begin to move through the rest of the company as well. 
I'll give you two great use cases. One is here in the US. Uh, one of <clears throat> Los Angeles County's largest employer actually is the county itself. They hire, uh, they have 112,000 employees. They hire uh, and basically onboard and offboard about 10,000 employees uh, a year. This was all done manually. They had to basically print, uh, download documents, print, mail them out, scan them, uh, try to figure out how to track signatures uh, and follow up. That process took weeks and weeks and weeks to onboard um, an employee. They deployed Sign Now and in a matter of just a few days began to digitize that whole process. And now they're able to onboard and offboard employees within a matter of a few hours to a day or so. So very significant use case of a very manual onboarding, offboarding process that's become all digital. A great COVID example is also here in the US, the De Department of Health and Human Services with the state of Nevada. When, uh, uh, when COVID-19 first hit us in March, uh, they were faced with needing to self-quarantine uh, their employees. That They needed to actually go out and attain signatures from their employees that they would self-quarantine. Obviously, they couldn't do that. They deployed uh, Sign Now so that they could do all of that uh, self-quarantine signing uh, digitally, and they were able to do that in a matter of minutes within their systems, deploy Sign Now, and now their entire process has been digitized. One of the things that we provide for you as a reseller uh, are NFRs or internal use rights seats. We want to ensure that you as a reseller experience the product, utilize the product and become your own use case for uh, selling it. So one of the things we'll do is we'll work through Marlene and, and team and any reseller that would like several seats with a targeted revenue commitment. Um, we're pretty uh, flexible on what that is, but we'd like to actually have some skin in the game of a targeted revenue number and uh, the use of the number of seats. So we have a whole process for doing so. We'll work through Marlene to make that happen. But very important for you to have these seats and use them for your own use case. So one of the things I think is important is, you know, we are aware that uh, there is, there are other competitors in the e-signature space. Several of us from Sign Now on this call have come from uh, one of those very top competitors. I think it's important to know the difference between Sign Now and our other e-signature e uh, competitors. First feature functionality, we are at parity. Uh, we have about the same amount of feature functionality as our top competitors. A very key difference is we have allow a lot of usage of the product. We allow 100 sends per user per year. If you think about sort of a virtual FedEx envelope that you've got a document or multiple documents in that, you're sending that out electronically for signature, that's considered one send. We allow a thousand sends per user per year. Our top competitor only allows a hundred sends per user per year. So we allow 10 times more usage of the product. We also only count that send or that uh, uh, transaction when it's fully completed. Uh, in other words, it's made a round trip with all signatures and is back in the place of storage that you determine. Our top competitor counts initiated transactions. In other words, when they send it out, that's counted as a transaction regardless of its completion. We only count when it's completed. We are extremely partner friendly. Uh, you'll find us uh, at, you know, really selling primarily around the globe through channel. So you will not have channel conflict uh, with our direct sellers. We are extremely partner friendly. As I stated in the previous slide, we will provide and do provide a generous internal use rights or not for sale uh, program uh, seats for you as a reseller. And lastly, 
we are priced about 25% less than our top uh, competitor. So you can see from this slide, the generosity and the usage of the application. We count transactions when they're completed. We're partner friendly. We'll provide you IUR seats, internal use rights seats, and we are priced much more competitively. We have a ton of resources. We'll work with Marlene. She has access and you can have access um, underneath Incomex into our partner center. Uh, this is where you can deal reg opportunities. You can actually attain all sales collateral, technical sales collateral, marketing materials. We can actually do campaigns out of this uh, partner center, which is our partner portal. Uh, and you can find all sales enablement uh, materials. We're here, as it says in the bottom of the slide, to help you win deals. So we will support the sales cycle, we'll help support demo wise, uh, et cetera, as you begin to uh, sell uh, sign now. And always you can reach us at partners at airslate.com. I'm gonna pause there and have Christian, uh, who's one of our top uh, solution engineers, fire up uh, and take over and show a brief uh, demo. Christian, are you there? Yep, I'm here, Scott. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Give me one second here. Perfect. And while you do that, uh, this should only be around 10 minutes or so, and then we are happy to take questions, but I'll turn it over to Christian now. Thanks, Christian. Yep, thanks, Scott. So I want you guys to focus how easily it is to um, start building out your document and sending it out. So what we'll do is upload a document into our, our interface. We can do this by drag and dropping a document or we can go ahead and upload. And um, our customers are able to um, upload any type of document. So it doesn't have to be a PDF, it could be a, a Word document, it could be an Excel, it could be a picture. We convert it all into a PDF. So once we upload the document, um, we go ahead and open up the document and you'll see on the left side is uh, our, um, our fields, our fillable fields um, that we can start adding to the document. Um, and then um, what we do is we address who's signing the document. So how many signers there are there are going to be and if we need to put any of the signers in a specific order of signing as well. So we can do that to like, for instance, a signing step is what we call it. Once you address who the signers are at that point, um, the next step is to go ahead and start adding those fields to it. So what we'll do is we'll add our text fields in some, some of the areas and we'll go ahead and adjust them on the size. And on the right hand side, we'll see that we have uh, settings for that uh, for that field itself. So if we need to label it. And then if it needs to be validated, so if, the, if it needs to be in a certain order, I'm sorry, in a certain format, um, like an email address or a phone number and so forth. Um, and then we can also change um, the characters on it as well. Um, so if it needs to have a uh, certain uh, font size or color, we could do that as well. That you'll see that we can also add um, check boxes, for instance, um, calculated fields. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just add a check box here and a check box there. Um, calculated fields allow us to start adding or subtracting, multiplying, um, or dividing fields um, from other fields. Radio coupons are um, just uh, ability to um, create these buttons. And then also if you would like to like set conditions on those buttons. So depending if they choose a yes or no, let's just say, um, we can go ahead and um, make a optional field uh, be uh, validated at that point. So certain certain fields can be hidden based upon a condition that's met. And if that condition is met, that field becomes. So we'll just uh, this one. Uh, here 
Uh, we have drop down fields as well. So if, if someone is uh, wanting to add a uh, different list, that's um, so we'll just do a quick uh, uh, two of them in here. And then requesting attachments. So if you guys, uh, if someone is planning on attaching a supporting document to, to the form itself, they can do that by um, being the first person to attach it when they send it out, or they could request it as well um, when they are um, sending it out. So I'm not going to fill out the whole form because we're, we're really short on time. So what I'll do is I'm going to save and close this and just show you guys what the invitation process looks like. There's two ways to get the document out for signing. Uh, one is to create a signing link. And what this does is that it generates a URL and the signing link can be embedded in your website or it can be um, sent in an email. It can be sent in a page. Uh, pretty much what this link is used for is that you don't really know who's signing your document. You don't have an email associated with the document. So anybody that clicks on the link will be able to to um, to be sent um, to the directly to that document to sign. They can allow the signer to send the invite, which means that if we want to have this link embedded somewhere, but we also want an email address associated with it. What we could do is allow the signer to send the invite. So when they click on the, the link itself, it asks for an email address at that point, and then they'll be uh, able to put, put in the email address there. Then it's going to send them the actual form directly there, and they're able to fill it out. Now at that point, you're able to track who's signing your document by an email. The next step is to invite to sign. Um, this is uh, where um, we're able to put in the email address of who we're going to send it to. And then we can customize the subject, the message of that email that's going out. And we have some advanced options that allow us to add additional passwords and securities to that document. So certain compliances will ha probably have this feature turned on for every document that is sent out. So it really just depends. And by default, um, we can, uh, the document does expire in 30 days. We could change these settings as well as a reminder or, um, you know, X amount of reminders before. On the passwords, they're set to either manually or we can auto generate one by a text message or a phone call. And then below that, Christian, sorry, I, I, want, I need to interrupt. I got a question. Uh, can I ask you something? Absolutely. Uh, uh, what level of licensing are you using for this demo? Is this is going to be um, most of the stuff I believe is going to be in enterprise and business. So for like the additional security levels, um, I'm using. Just, just to be sure I can replicate that demo. Right. With my, with my clients. A lot yeah. of this stuff is going to be in the enterprise because I talked about calculated fields, conditional fields. Um, so let's look at more, more of the features. Um, advanced threat protection, um, advanced authentication. So the, those are mostly going to be in the in the enterprise function. Yeah, good question. And we're providing through the Incomex marketplace our business premium, which is just to the left of what Christian's showing, as well as the enterprise. The enterprise offering, which again is 25% less than our top competitors, provides uh, extremely robust offerings, feature functionality, out of the box integrations uh, that I talked about as well. But the two that are on the marketplace is the business premium and the enterprise. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Problem. A um, couple more settings is uh, redirecting. If we want to redirect anybody um, after they sign the form, if, if you want to take them to a different landing page, you can set that up here as well. And then by default, everybody in the party associated, if they're carbon copied or if they're the signer or if they're the sender, 
will get a copy of the document and any attachments unless you turn this feature off as well. All right, so we'll just send this invite out real quick. And then what I want to show you guys next um, is the branding. So any customer um, has an option depending on their package um, to also change the branding on their UI and pretty much anything that goes out to anybody that has sign now. So anything uh, sign now will be changed to the customer, uh, you know, logo of their choice uh, pending approval from support. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys the history um, of the document um, as it goes through sign now. So you'll be able to track um, an audit trail of when the document was created by who, um, as well as what time and what IP address. So as it goes through the signing process, you're, you're going to be able to see who viewed the document, um, who's made changes to the document, uh, and what time and what IP address it came from. You can also download this uh, with the history or you could have the, the, the document itself being backed up into one of your uh, cloud storage solutions of your choice. So I'll pause again. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you, uh, Christian. Sorry, Pretty Christian. straightforward. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, we have a question in the chat. Um, is it HIPAA compliant? Can you sign a VAA with a healthcare provider? Absolutely, yes, yes, we yes. are. Yep. Perfect, thank you. Good question. Yeah, open it up. Uh, that's our presentation and, and demo. Christian, thank you for that. Uh, so happy to answer any additional questions with our remaining time. Very good, Scott. So we are opening the mic. So if you have any question, you can either type it in the chat or you can uh, ask directly. Yes, I have a, another question, Christian, uh, for you. I think you made the, the demo. Can you show some of the security properties attached to the to the document to the PDF? I have seen in other solutions that they add some kind of certificate to the PDF and I and I just want you uh, if you can show that part yeah to compare we don't we don't uh, show anything on that part it, every document that you send out mm -hmm. that captures a signature will always have a digital certificate by RN uh, being placed on it so there's nothing that our users need to do on the front end. It just does it automatically anytime there's a signature on the document. The, the documents are uh, protected, so nobody can uh, edit them or change anything, right? Right. Anytime a signature is is is, uh, is captured, um, that that certificate will be. Place and that and it lives with the document. So if someone downloads the document into their hard drive and then starts making changes to it, that certificate will then show broken. Okay, maybe the, the so the the customer that receive or someone that receive the the signed documents can have access to check that that certificate. How do they check check, check it? in uh, let, let's say like an uh, Acrobat reader type of uh, uh, tool. Uh, OK, can you show that in, in this moment? Um, I actually I don't have that uh, available to show. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, sir. but it, it's it's in there. It, it it you just have to pretty much complete a document with the signature and then open up Adobe Acrobat or something like that and then view the actual certificate in there. It's going to show if it's issued by, in our case, it'll be signed now, and then it would show if it's valid or, or not. Yeah, every every send and signature and document completion has a complete full-blown audit uh, trail um, that actually can, you know, the end customer uh, can, can see um, as well. 
A good question. Yeah, I don't know if you have one just handy, uh, Christian, that shows what it kind of looks like when it's completed. There we go. So there's an example view of uh, what it looks like uh, as part of that completion process. Yeah, and then what um, every signature will have a unique ID to it. So you could see that ID here. Um, that's that's how we trace it. And every signature, what I mean every signature is that if I'm signing the document five times, it's going to be five different IDs. So we're able to trace where they're coming from. Because sometimes our customers are not signing the whole form right then and there. They might leave it and sign it some other time. Um, so it may come from a different IP address and so forth. Thank you very much. Yep. Good question. Any other questions uh, for us? Yes, we have another one. What happens with the document history when the subscription ends? Is there a trace uh, lost? Absolutely not. So anytime your subscription ends, um, at that point, you're not able to send any more documents. You still have access to your documents that are stored inside now. However, we do recommend to have them um, pulled out, um, so moved um, into a, a different storage, if, because uh, we only keep them from a certain amount of time in there. So depending on what package you have and what compliances, we may keep them up to seven years. But you still have access to them, even if you don't have a subscription. Yep, another good, great Thank question. You. Yes, that's a good, great question, Chris. Okay. Okay, so I don't see more questions. Oh, yes, there is one more. Oh, they're asking if we can email this presentation so they can go through. Uh, yes, sure. We are going to share um, a lot of documents that we uh, have from sign now. So we will provide it in English and Spanish and also white label information so you can use to the first thing to understand the solution and then to share with your customers. And also we can arrange some presentations for your customers on your behalf. So you do the logistic and we can do the presentations for them. Just let us know. All right, so Very Marcela, Marcela already shared the the um, the survey to ask for your feedback so if you can complete it and i will let uh, scott to do a wrap up of the solution you bet so on behalf of sign now uh, we are excited about the launch of sign now on the incomex uh, marketplace we believe the entire uh, latam from mexico all the way down to brazil into the caribbean etc is a absolute a uh, great opportunity for electronic signature. Uh, we we believe, you know, again, the feature functionality parity um, is there. Uh, the usage, high usage of the product where other competitors put a hard cap um, on that and uh, our price competitiveness, I think, brings a great solution for you to take to every one of your customers and ask the question, do you have electronic signatures? Are you using electronic signatures? And especially in this COVID environment, it's a necessary uh, application as we shared. It's the number two work from home, um, or I should say office from home solution on the entire planet. So it is a absolute uh, must to take uh, to all your customers. So we're grateful for your time on uh, this uh, webinar in session and Marlene thank you for the partnership and uh, look forward to partnering with each one of you as we go forward. My pleasure Scott thank you all for your time have a good day. You too. Bye now thank Thanks. you. Bye thank, thank you. you. Bye bye.